Find the best people you want to get close to. Find them. Get close to them. Do whatever it takes to learn everything you can from them. Because when you do, you're going to be a lot better off. I want to see other people win. We're so focused on ourselves in the beginning that we forget about other people. But to build an empire, you can't do it with one person. What's up, y'all? BC here. I have another special, special uh, interview slash introduction for you. Um, you know, I'm doing my best now, especially recently, to put things in front of you that I feel is worth your time and at least for you to take a look at. So Cody, I did a video with him when I was in Arizona last year. He transitioned from being in real estate to really jumping headfirst into wholesaling and he's having a lot of success. And just like me, he's done a lot of door knocking and a lot of prospecting and actually him and some other people actually put together an app called Go Knock. And I checked it out last week uh, with him. I played around with it a little bit and I definitely think it's worth it for you guys to at least hear about it and check it out. So. I'll pass the, the mic over to Cody right now and he can kind of give you the breakdown of it. So it's all yours, bro. The floor is yours. Awesome. Awesome. Well, yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy to see, uh, you know, what's happened from when we did our last uh, video to this one. So, you know, excited to, to be here and, um, you know, share a little bit about, you know, what, what's going on with this app, because the, the biggest thing that people, especially in investment real estate, when they're first getting started, they're like, how do I get my first deal? How, what do I need to do to actually find a deal? You know, it, it's the, the realtors, you know, it's how, how do I get my first listing? How do I sign my first buyer, you know, to, to put a deal together? And when people are, you know, getting into real estate investing, specifically wholesaling, it's where do I go? There's gurus that are saying you need to buy this, this system, you need to do that program. And so what we decided to do is actually what is the simplest way that somebody just getting out of the gate can get their first deal? And that's where Go Knock came from. Because when I look back at when I was first starting, I didn't really know which direction to go. So what I did was something called driving for dollars. So what I was doing was going out, driving neighborhoods of distressed properties, you know, literally handwriting addresses down and then going back home you know, uh, skip tracing those addresses one by one, cold calling them one by one. And then on the weekends, I would go out and door knock those. That's what I was doing. And it was super inefficient, but it was allowing me to actually, you know, enter into the business. That's how I got my first deal wholesaling. So, um, you know, really the, the, the whole concept behind go knock was how do we shorten that, that process? So somebody can go from just getting into the business to getting to their first deal right away. So um, that's what we put together here. So um, Brian, I just need you to share, let me share the screen and I'll give you guys just a quick idea of what you can do. All right, so basically uh, there's the web version of GoNock and then you actually also have the uh, app version. So you can do multiple things on the web version. You can do a lot of different things on the app version. And so just a couple quick features just to give you guys a little bit of a taste of what you can do with it. Um, say, you know, a lot of people when they're getting started, pre foreclosures is one of the, the main niches that people are saying, hey, that's what you should go after. Because people that are in pre foreclosure, they're behind on their payments. They're obviously in financial distress, right? So that's something that, you know, it's, it's probably the quickest way to getting your first deal because these people have limited options. So um, what I was doing was I was print, I was getting a title company to send me a list of pre foreclosures. I would print it out. Then I would put it into MapQuest to then put a route together to actually go and, and knock those doors. And so what we've actually put together here with go knock is for example, say I live in Arizona. So say if I want to go find some pre foreclosure properties in Mesa, what I can do, residential properties, you know, whether you want them owner occupied, you probably want them owner occupied if you want to talk to the owner for these, uh, this data set. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply the search. And so what's going to happen is um, GoNock is updating that data on a day to day basis of the newest pre foreclosures so that you can get to them. The speed is everything, right? Especially, you know, for those that may be watching and, you know, maybe you're new to the real estate investing space. It's similar to expired with pre foreclosures. You want to get to them quickly. You want to be one of those first people to have that conversation with them. So, um, say for example, here, it looks like we have 119 pre foreclosures come up in this area. So, 
what you can do is you could actually put together like specific folders, whatever data that you want to put together. So say I want to do Mesa pre foreclosures. So I'm saving that list of those 119 properties. And if I'm actually on the app, obviously we're on the web version right now and say it's a, you know, Tuesday afternoon and I want to go and actually start getting in front of these individual homeowners. What you could actually do is using the driving route feature, you can have it create the best route for you to be able to hit all of those doors. And so say, for example, if I'm out knocking a door and I want to, and I'm not able to get, get in touch with the owner. So this could work whether you're, um, you know, you're door knocking for expireds, you're door knocking for pre, uh, pre foreclosures or for sale by owners, whatever that data set, right? What you can do is when you click on the actual address. So if you're sitting in front of the property, you click on the address, you can get a little bit more information about, you know, the owner's name, their mailing address. So if they didn't answer, maybe it's because they don't actually live there. Right. So uh, maybe they're at their uh, other property. So what you can do is on the spot, if you want to try to get in touch with that person, you can actually skip trace that person uh, right on the spot and then give them a call, call them right as you're in front of their property. Um, if you're trying to reach out to them and you could also send mail campaigns and SMS campaigns. So say for example, I'm in front of this property and you can import your own template. So say if you're, you know, specifically targeting pre foreclosures or expireds or for sale by owners or whatever that data set is, you can actually have a custom template that I, I go by that property. They don't answer the door. I go into the app and I select start mail campaign and it'll start actually sending out your mail piece while you're out driving. So you're able to, from the app, be making your notes, start mail campaigns, text campaigns, obviously change the status based on, you know, okay, we're currently marketing these properties um, or what, you know, the specific situation is based on that property. Um, and then if you have a team as well. So if you have a team, you know, if whether it's a real estate sales team uh, that's doing wholesale or whether you're doing uh, traditional real estate sales, uh, getting listings, and you have a team that's going out and door knocking, you can actually be tracking that by your team member. So whoever's on your team, you could actually see, okay, this person on my team set up 10 new mail campaigns this week. They skip trace this many people to give them a call. This is how many miles they drove out while they were out knocking. This is how many properties they've added. So that's just kind of giving, uh, just kind of scratching the surface on, you know, what go not could actually do. But I think the biggest thing is, is really recognizing to use go not to create additional opportunities for your real estate business. So whether, um, you know, you're a real estate agent and you're already going out there trying to get listings, this is going to allow you to, you know, again, it speeds that, uh, speed to that seller, getting in touch with them right away. Um, or whether you're uh, getting into real estate investing, maybe you're brand new to wholesale and you just want to get in front of people that have distress, that have financial pain, that have motivation to be able to reach out to them to see how you could be of service to help solve their problems. So um, in a nutshell, that's essentially what GoKnock is all about, about helping you find deals, find deals quickly, um, putting routes together, automating some marketing and then at a super affordable uh, cost as well. So um, as far as, you know, utilizing the app for a limited time, what we're doing is for anybody that actually, you know, reaches out utilizing Brian's link, which you'll actually have that posted below. Uh, we're going to give two weeks free on a trial and then 50 free skip traces. Meaning if you go and drive, 50 different properties and you're knocking those doors and you aren't able to reach them, you could skip trace 50 of them for free and being able to call, reach out, send text messages to those people. So um, that's really what go knocks all about. Um, so Brian, that's, that's what we're doing, man. You know, just trying to help people obviously, you know, get to the deals faster than other individuals are. Um, and then obviously monetizing in different ways for, for people that may be just working as a realtor wanting to, you know, increase, other ways to, to find, uh, find sellers. Yeah, man. You know, I just really like when we uh, got on the call last week, I really liked the simplicity of it, you know, and when mm -hmm. you guys were kind of walking me through it, I've actually been turned off by a lot of other things because they're, they seem like too complicated while well, this seems simple. Um, yeah. as we're wrapping up here, right. Cause we're going to keep it short. If there's right. maybe like two or three things you can say specifically about 
your app that separates you from everybody else, what would you say those things are? I would say number one is the data because there's nothing without good data. And so what we've done a really good job with is we actually partnered with a data company, literally one of the companies that is actually putting this information out that a lot of other companies are then having to wait to buy that data from to then post it up on their service. We're getting it straight from the source. So that's something that, you know, we're getting to it when somebody else is maybe just now getting access to that. We already are hitting that door before somebody else is actually reaching them. So that's the biggest thing. Data is, uh, separates it. Um, and then the second thing is actually, um, you know, the driving for dollars feature where you can actually, while you're on your computer, you don't have to go and drive neighborhoods like I did and actually write down addresses and, you know, do that whole deal. You can literally from your computer be driving through a neighborhood on Google earth view basically, and be looking and adding properties to be able to reach out to those people from there. Um, so that's another big thing that I would say. And then the capability to actually build a team through this, you could have multiple running this and tracking their numbers because you know, that's a big thing that, um, I know as a business owner with wholesale business, I want to know the numbers. So, um, you know, it's, it's knowing how many, you know, how many doors our teams hit, but then as somebody brand new, that's just using the app for the first time and they're new to it, they can keep track and set personal goals for themselves. You know, if they want to hit a certain amount of doors, they can keep track of that all, all in one place. Love it, man. And like you said, this can be used as an app on our phone and yeah. it also has the web-based feature, right? Yep. Yep. hundred percent. Awesome, man. We'll do. Thanks. You know, I'm, I'm obviously here flashing the, the link here. It's in the description. Um, I guess, you know, if somebody maybe does sign up or they don't sign up and they want to talk to you, Cody, um, are you going to accept uh, people's requests if they have questions for you or they want to talk to you more about the app? And if yeah. so, uh, where do you want them to reach out to you? And I'll put it in the description. Yeah. So I would say the best place that they can go is actually uh, going into the GoNock Facebook group. The thing that we do in there is every single week, we do two, two Facebook lives in that group where we're showing best practices, how we're getting deals utilizing the app, and then you know active demos on different features that we're actually utilizing. So that would, that's what I would do. I actually do those lives in that group so they can reach out to me directly in there, get questions answered as well. Um, so that's what I would do. And as far as, you know, getting set up for two weeks on that trial and the 53 skip traces, it would be gonock.com forward slash team BC. Cool. All right, man. Any last words of wisdom or are we wrapping it up? Um, I mean, really just taking action, you know, a, a tool is only as good as, as the person that's using it. You know, if you, if you get excited about it, you don't do anything, nothing's going to happen. So it's, it's up to you to actually utilize that tool and take massive action so you can actually see those results. Oh yeah, man. Well, thanks for coming on, dude. If you guys are interested, click the link in the description and the one that's flashing here at the bottom of the screen. All right. Peace. We'll see you on the next video. We'll see you.